Welcome back to The Witcher 3. So, I've just gotten the Buckthorn, and I think I have everything I need to concoct the the bait and lay my trap for the griffin. Just need to go talk to Vesemir and see what he thinks. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the griffin for him. What else could he want from two witches? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss. Standard smells of the countryside. <laughs> Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. You know, I've got like ten tufts of buckthorn stuck in my pack. <laughs> I'm going around all over the place and it's no wonder everybody's spitting when I go by them because I probably smell like I haven't bathed in months. Ugh. Alright. Um, I don't think I actually want to do this yet. If I remember right, I think the suggested level for this quest is level 3 and I think... Am I level 2? Or You know what, I think I might be level 3 now. But, um... I want to prepare a little bit. Because I still have that well quest to go kill the uh, the spirit. Or, well, not necessarily kill, just take care of the spirit. By the well, at that kind of abandoned little, little village place. So I think I want to go take care of that first. Later, Vesemir. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. He's like, you want to go deal with it? I'm like, later, dude. See ya. Okay, so where is this place? Uh, is it a contract? Yeah, Devil by the Well. And, yeah, it's just a level, it's a level 3, and I am level 3, so I probably can't handle it, but I want to do this first. So let's go find the spirit that haunts the well. Which is over here? Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go check it out. In fact, hmm, let's make things interesting. Let's not go straight there. Let's actually follow the uh, riverbank and go check out this question mark. It's an undiscovered location. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Let's go. Hey man, how's it going? Enjoying the fishing? Well, um... Hey, you want to see some magic? Oh, God. Have a nice day. Come on, Roach. Ooh, can the horse go in water? Well, uh... No, it really, really doesn't like the water. You know, I just realized I have Take it easy. I have no idea if horses can swim. Can horses swim? I mean their feet aren't obviously aren't very good for paddling. Uh would they just sink? They're pretty heavy. I I don't know. <laughs> I actually have no idea. Looks like we got some drowners up here. Alright, so there's a group of drowners, and I want to try a kind of crowd management tactic that I keep not doing, but I probably should. I need to use more magic than just my Quen. So I'll be using Quen. 
Come, come on, take out your sword. Uh, wh why are my keybinds for the sword not working? Wait, did oh, what the heck? Okay, that's weird. Um, there's been a patch since I last played, and I think they reset the controls because now my controls aren't the same. Um, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Yeah, for some reason my controls are reset. So now I can actually select from my different things. Um, so yeah, I've been kind of abusing Quen. It's been the main thing that I've used because it's just simply a shield. Um, but I really need to use some other stuff. So I'm going to try Yurdin, or however you pronounce this one. I think it's like a trap that makes it so that enemies stay inside of it. Kind of keeps them there, which should be good for crowd control, I think. I'm going to try it. I really need to branch out, branch out my use of magic. So you should, let's use Quen first. Which I think lasts for a couple minutes, and then, yeah, it's already regenerated. And then let's try this. What the? <laughs> You're just telling me about points of interest now? I, I know, thank you. Alright, fight me. Uh, what the hell? I did, like, nothing. What the? Okay, great. Okay, not bad. Not bad, not bad. I'm actually impressed with how smoothly that went. I'm definitely getting better at dodging. But yeah, I don't know what the heck is up with this. That, di that didn't do anything. I don't understand. I'm gonna try it again, actually. I think there's w Yeah, there's one more. Slow down. That that's all it, it didn't even look like it slowed it down. That's terrible. Man, I love the dodge. The dodge is so 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 cool. It's so much better than The Witcher 2, where you kind of had to just do the roll. I, I can't do the roll right now because I'm not in combat, but you had to roll away from like every attack. You're just constantly rolling. It was like a crazy version of Dark Souls. But the dodge just looks cooler and it feels better too. Because the roll is completely absurd, you know? In actual combat, you don't roll around constantly, that's insane. You just stab yourself with your own sword and it's just all sorts of bad. I mean, god, now that I think about it, is there ever a situation where you'd... Like, was rolling while having a sword out ever a valid combat tactic? Ever? That just seems incredibly dangerous, doesn't it? You can just imagine rolling and then, oops, well, punctured your chest with your sword. <laughs> Good job. It's like, don't run with scissors, Well, Don't roll with swords. Alright, so this is the point of interest. Ooh! Hunting gauntlets. And three crowns! Can I fit all of them on my head? I don't know. A saddle. I think I've already got a saddle on my horse. If I remember right, I think saddles and kind of other stuff you put on your horse increase its stamina and stuff like that. And you can probably get horse armor, it probably increases its health or something. Except unlike Oblivion, it, the horse armor isn't in the DLC. I don't actually know if there is horse armor, but there probably is. Come here, Roach. Alright, check out what I got. Hunting gauntlets. Oh, way, way better. Five armor compared to one. Little bit more resistance. Condition isn't as good, but whatever. It's weird. It's light armor compared to my medium armor, but it's actually heavier, even though it's lighter. I 
What? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But I'll take it. Ooh. They look vaguely different. I like vaguely different armor. Oh, hey. I think the sword's actually better than what I have. Hmm. Well, it does plus four base damage, but it doesn't have the plus 38 armor piercing. So I don't think it actually is better. I'm not I'm not really sure how good 38 armor piercing is, but it sounds really good. So I'm going to stick with that. And yep, that's a saddle. That's what I already have equipped, so nothing new there. Looks like... Oh, it looks like there is an armor, but there is horse blinders. And saddlebags and a trophy. Cool beans. Alright, so this is the point of interest that I wanted to go to, right? Yep. Let's go up to this little lake and then up to the uh, up to the village. Feels so nice to just wander through the forest. Let's go diving! Is there treasure under the sea? Oh, whoa, is that a underwater cave entrance? Or am I just seeing things? Oh, whoa! Cool, hold on, let me get some air before going down there. You know what? Isn't there a well here? Yeah, devil by the well. Maybe that, like, hooks up with the well or something. I... I don't know. This could actually be related to the quest. <laughs> I kind of just lost all the breath I gained there. Whatever. I'll be fine. I can just quen and protect myself. That'll give me my breath back, right? Give me a bubble of air. Oh, pretty glowy things. There's some air up here? I really hope there's some air up here. There is. Thank God. Oh. Yeah, where am I coming up here? Yeah, it looks like I am going towards the well. Huh. This probably is actually related to the quest. I better save. I forgot the key to stop running. I thought it was ult. Geralt, stop running, please. There we go, it's control. Alright, so I'm supposed to find the spirit that haunts the well. Uh, that's a skeleton. And it appears to be hanging by its neck. Uh, that can't be a good thing. Can I blow it down? <laughs> okay, that didn't exactly work, and now I just feel like I've angered the spirit. Um, I'm sorry. I, I probably need to cut it down from up there, and then come down here and maybe get the bones, uh, I'm thinking. Let me just check down here. What 
is this? Weird bubbly shiny stuff. What? What is that? Huh. <laughs> Magic residue, I guess. Ectoplasm. So yeah, I think I need to go back up there, but I could try burning it down. Nope. God, those flames look so pretty. Yeah, I think I kind of jumped the gun on coming down here. shows at a certain time of day. Ah. Right, maybe I need to wait until nighttime. Oh, and use your Witcher senses. I totally forgot I even had Witcher senses. Whoops. Maybe I should have used that down there. Grass around the well scorched. Maybe that's because I burned everything with Igni. Oh god. What the heck is that? Is that a... Is that a dog? For a second I thought it was a bear or something. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. All signs point to a noon wraith. I'll, uh, take your word for it. Noon wraith won't stray too far from the well. I don't know what a noon wraith is. Hold on. Is that... In here somewhere, uh, glossary, bestiary. Yes, thank you. It's gotta be a specter, right? Mm hmm. Oh, oh, one of those. Despite what is commonly thought, peasants do not interrupt their labors at midday to get out of the sun. They do it to avoid noon wraiths. On particularly searing summer days, when the sun reaches its zenith, wraiths will at times appear, resembling sun-scorched women dressed in long white robes. These are noon wraiths, the spirits of young women and girls who died violent deaths right before their weddings. Driven mad with pain or anger, they wander the fields searching for their unfaithful lovers or backstabbing rivals, though they will kill anyone who does not get out of their way in time. They are often held in this world by some object of intense emotional significance. That is why, if one ever finds a wedding ring or torn veil in the middle of a field, one should not pick it up, but instead back away as quickly as possible. What an interesting background to these creatures. And that is completely different from what I thought. I was assuming a wraith kind of thing would be at night, but it looks like it's actually when the sun is at its... Zenith, did it say? Yeah, when the sun reaches its zenith. So it's actually when it's really bright. It's funny, you usually think of specters as being creatures of the night. I remember these too from uh, The Witcher 1. There's some quest. Fairly late in the game, I think. And I remember these things. I remember a bunch of them in, in a bunch of, like, wheat fields or something like that. Anyway, what are they vulnerable against? Moon dust? Don't have any. Spectre oil? Don't think I have any. Yurden? Well, I do have that. Okay, so I should probably wait and I should probably meditate until midday. 
Um, and I should probably also look for some object of significance. Something's tied the Noon Wraith to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. So yeah, um, let me try burning it from here. Nah, I didn't break the rope. Can I untie it? Hm, maybe I can't do anything with the rope. Nope, seems like I can't. Okay. I don't suppose I can make spectre oil, can I? Not that I need to. Do I even have the ingredient? I mean, the, uh, the recipe for it? Cursed oils. Oh, there it is. Ah, I don't have the... Aren... Arenaria? Arenaria? I do have the bear fat, though. When did I pick up bear fat? I don't remember fighting any bears. Let's check out the homes for some object of significance. Uh, what do you bet I can find the alchemical ingredients around here? What do you bet? Ooh. You think the designers would be that, uh... I'm not sure the right word, but you think they would think that far forwards? Ah, nope. Not the right stuff. What about this over here? Nope. Nope, not the right stuff. This whole place is just caved in. How long has it been abandoned for? A doll. Uh... That's kind of creepy. Could that be an object of significance? I'm <laughs> just picking up plates and stuff and shifting them in my pack. <laughs> yeah, gotta get my stuff ready for my uh, nice picnic. Not mean to get on the roof, but I'll take it. Now, I know there's something to loot in here. Yeah, how do I get in there? Hmm. I suppose I can try Ard, but I feel like it's just going to make the whole place come down. Oh! Never mind. Cool legumes. says relic. I'm assuming that's a pretty costly kind of rare item. Wait. There's still a thing on the map around this house. Does that mean there's something I haven't discovered? Oh, no, it just disappeared. I really want to know how I have not hit my weight limit yet. That's kind of amazing. I picked up like 20,000 pounds of sheepskin. Like, what is my weight at? It's only at 24 of 60? Jesus Christ. I can carry an entire store on my back. I don't even have a pack. Like, I literally don't even have a pack on my back. 
I'm not gonna complain though, I hate small weight limits in RPGs, it's so annoying. This place has a lot of stuff. I'm guessing if there's an item of significance, it's probably in here. Ooh, what's this? Oh wait, there's something red over there. I think that's the stuff that matters. Yeah, I think the red stuff is like quest things. Everything else is just loot. It's a burned body. A man. Stabbed with a knife. Died on the spot. Animals fed on his body. Picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there. But it's not his blood. Oh, never mind. Apparently he wasn't burned. Blood stains. Barely visible. Someone was dragged this way. Someone who was still alive. Guessing there's something very unpleasant in that journal. <laughs> Broken rake. Yay. Christmas present I never wanted. Yep, here we go. A journal. Might be useful. I don't think I'm gonna like what I'm gonna read in here. Uh, no, it's not in there. It's happened. Volker sent a petition of our grievances against the Lord to the court at Vizima. Listed all the harm he's done us. How he killed Johan for not taking off his cap quick enough. How he trampled our fields when drunk with nary a thought of repayment. How he barged in during Peter's wedding and demanded his right of the first night. Now we finally got what we begged Melatelli for in our prayers for so long. The judge recognized our grievances and waived all our bounds and duties to the Lord. We can finally strike out on our own. At last, we can live as free men. The first day of our freedom. Hovel's not much of a village yet, but to my mind, it's better than the most fantastic palace. Volker fumed our home with hazelwood smoke to drive out evil, buried a marden under the gate to make sure no thieves cross our threshold. And then he gave me a bracelet. Loveliest I've ever seen. Mother said it's foolish to spend so much on a bauble when we haven't plows nor hoes, and that we ought to return it to the merchant. Over my dead body, I'll never take it off. It'll always be there to remind me of Volker, of how happy we were that day. Oh wow, so they, they got their freedom from apparently a shitty lord. And they started this little this little place to uh, start anew, basically. They say the lord is coming to see us. That he wants to make a deal to beg us to return to the village. They say he's calmed since his son died. That he's not as quick to anger about small slights. Well, we'll see. One way or another. I've no intention to move one inch from here. Oh, Jesus. Well, I guess... <laughs> I guess he didn't move one inch from here, did he? He died right next to me. That's probably his body. But the Noon Wraith? Who's the Noon Wraith? That bracelet might be what ties the woman's spirit to this place. Ah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so he said he would never take it off, so... Is it on his... I mean, where is it? A man. Stabbed with a knife. Died on the spot. Animals fed on his body. Picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there. But it's not his blood. I guess it's gotta be on the body in the well. So I'm guessing the Lord came here, wanted them to come back, and they refused since he said they're not going to move an inch from here, and I guess they just slaughtered them all for their their insolence. Son of a bitch. Palm prints in blood. Small hands. A woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. 
Under the right conditions, bloodstains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. Well, maybe I am going to take the body down, or maybe pull it up. Blood stains. Almost faded. But the line's taut. Something's not right. A corpse, hanged by the bucket rope. Woman the journal belonged to. Must be. Wide pelvis, small jaw. A woman. Round 30, judging by the teeth. Left arms missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. <laughs> it's okay. You have a fast metabolism. You'll heal right up. Also, I, di I didn't realize the journal was actually hers. I thought it was... some guys? I, I don't know who, actually. But, yeah, apparently it was hers. Whoops. What? Need to cremate the... Was she... Gotta jump. Alright. Let's go down the quick way. Oh god. Oh, oh, okay, he's doing flips. Girl is doing flips in the water. I just want to loot the thing. Alright, there we go. And, ah, it looks like the bubbly thing was a thing. Ornate bracelet. that must have belonged to the woman in the well. Lovely craftsmanship, but I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good. Better do it near the well. I wonder if the noon wraith is going to go easily. Because it's getting dark, so it's not exa exactly time for the Noon Wraith to come out. But I'm guessing I'm going to wake it up when I try to burn the precious object. We shall see. It even says, prepare to fight the Noon Wraith. Brew some Wraith oil. Drink some potions. Nah, don't worry about it, Geralt. You'll be fine. It's a level 2 quest. You're level 3. You're thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking small. Gotta think big. You're a big man now, Geralt. Alright. Um... <laughs> Let me see if I just happen to have gotten the ingredients I need for the uh, Spectre Oil. Don't think so. Nope. I don't have a one. Aranaria. 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 <laughs> Look at that. It doesn't even do that much. It's only plus 10% attack power versus Spectres. That's not going to make a huge difference. But... Okay, let's make the assumption that maybe there's Aranaria somewhere nearby. So let me just... Let me just run off into the woods for a second. Let's find some bushes. 
There's a distinct lack of pickable bushes here. I am very disappointed. Yeah, holy crap, there's, like, nothing. Eh, whatever, it's only a 10% bonus. I don't- oh wait, 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 there's something. That's not it. Alright, one more, just one more. Nope, forget it. I know it was also susceptible to moon dust, which I think is a type of bomb, but I don't think I have the recipe for that, and even if I do, I don't think I have the ingredients. Just check real quick. Nope, just grape shot and simum. Don't have the ingredients for either of those. Um, I do have swallow, though, which I should probably use. Do I have it equipped? That's water. Where's my stuff? Honestly, I don't really know how to use potions, because I've almost never used them. So I'm kind of incompetent? Yeah. I don't even know where they are. Are they... whoops. Are they in my quick menu? No. Oh, that's how you use the torch! Or maybe not? I can't seem to actually use it. I don't get it. Whatever. I'm, I'm going sans any potions because I don't know how to use my potions. No, okay, I should probably forgot how to use my potions. Hold on, one second. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's in usable items, which is a sensible place for a thing that you can use. <laughs> uh, just swap these slots around. It's There's a lot of controls to this game, to be honest. Like, you can, if you press this, you can look in the bottom left and see the controls to use the different items. Uh, looks like Torch's middle mouse button. So there you go. R to use Swallow, F to use Wolf's Liver, which I'll never remember any of those. It's a lot of controls. There's so many controls. But yeah, R to use Swallow, which is going to increase my Vitality Regeneration, which is going to allow me to uh, use magic more quickly. Oh my god, that lighting is beautiful! Oh god, it's so pretty! Look at that. Oh, look at the... look. Just look at the torch itself. I wish I could zoom in. Uh, there we go. Like, look at that flame. I don't know how they got fire effects that look so damn good. But that is seriously some of the best fire effects I have ever seen in a game ever. That is ridiculously gorgeous. I think it's just really good, kind of like... Sprite work, if that's the right word. Like, it doesn't seem to be some sort of crazy volumetric fire thing. It just seems to be really, really, really good, you know, typical 2D kind of particle stuff, I think. I think there's a bit of a model in there, too. Anyway. I can make a separate video analyzing <laughs> the technical details of the torch fire, but let's do this. Alright, so R, right? R to... yeah. <laughs> Press R to swallow. <laughs> Press R to make Geralt swallow. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. And the bracelet. Igni. Oh, here we go. Maybe I can <laughs> talk it down? Doesn't seem to want to talk. Doesn't have a lower jaw. Don't think it can talk. All right. Hey, I think it worked. All right. Let's Quinn. Dodge. And let's R. All right, here we go. Come back here. Oh my god, it's taking like no damage whatsoever. Or it seems to be bound to the uh, well. It really wants to stay around it. Oh 
Oh god, what the heck? Okay, it's made copies. Is it healing? I think it's healing or something. Alright, I should probably try Yirden, because that's one of the things it's supposed to be susceptible to. That didn't do anything! What is the point of that spell? This thing has an incredible amount of health. Is this thing taking any damage? It just seems to be healing constantly. Am I doing anything? It just seems to heal. Yeah, is it not back up to full health? I don't get it. Side of you, girl. Okay, oh my god. Like, it. This is a level 2 quest, right? And I'm level 3. I killed those things before I could heal too much, but it's already back up to like 90% hit points. This is not going anywhere. I, I don't get it. Am I really, really, really supposed to have like moon dust bombs and or specter oil it only said it would increase damage by like 10% which really doesn't seem uh, big enough to do much of anything I don't get it I do have my silver sword out right yeah that's my silver sword what if I try blocking I don't think blocking is gonna do anything but Did that do anything? What did that do? Well, now it's gonna heal again. Oh god. And apparently my sword is... completely... fucked. Oh. Well, that's in bad condition, but it's only minus 9 damage. Which, compared to how much damage it does in total, doesn't seem too bad. Do I have a weapon repair kit? Nah, I've got an armor repair kit. These are all steel swords, so I don't have a replacement for it. Alright. Come on, come closer. Yeah, blocking actually seems to work really, really well. Well, kinda. Didn't work there for some reason. I'm not doing any damage! Come on. 
I'm just gonna mash. Just attack. I... I don't... I, I don't get it. Hold on. Something... What the... Something's wrong. I'm really confused right now. I, I seem to have lost the ability to block with my sword. Like, he's almost always in a blocking motion. It's... Some, something's wrong. Um... Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna do some experimentation. Okay, I think I figured it out. Let me burn the body again. So, for some reason, my uh, character got kind of glitched and I was kind of stuck blocking constantly. I don't know why. Um, maybe it wasn't a glitch and there's just like a weird control in the game. I don't know. The, the game has a million controls. However, I did figure out the solution, I think. And that is that. Uh, I might want to put away that. Yeah, there we go. Yirden, which seemed like it was doing nothing, I think actually makes it way, 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 way more vulnerable to damage. So I think I need to put that down and then attack it when it's inside of Yirden. I think. Because I put it down and it seemed to take a bajillion times more damage. So let's do it. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that damage. There we go. She's gone. For good. Whew. You know, I actually kind of like that. How that whole, whole thing kind of worked. I, I do have a problem with it, but... I like the fact that you you really are supposed to prepare. Like, you really are supposed to prepare specific monstery things for that particular monster to really be able to deal with it. Because it's basically impossible to kill it, at least at my current level, without doing something specific, you know, without exploiting some specific weakness of the monster. If I had some of the moon dust bombs, I probably would have did, did the trick too, but it looks like using Yirden makes it way more susceptible to damage. Which makes sense, because a witcher is supposed to be a monster hunter, and they're supposed to be... Um... You know, they're supposed to be a... Witchers are supposed to be people that really prepare for every encounter. When they're fighting particular monsters. They're very knowledgeable people. About... About the different weaknesses and how these different monsters and spirits and stuff work. It's pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it wasn't super obvious that Yirden was doing anything. I put it down and, like, nothing came up. It just seemed pointless. Like, I thought Yurden just trapped things inside of it. Which was driven home by the fact that I tried to use it on the Drowners and all it did was slow them down. I, I thought it was just like a trap, like a snare. But apparently not. So, I wish that was more obvious, but other than that, that was pretty cool. Ooh. Ah, trophy. I think that's something I can put on my horse. Look at all these crafting ingredients. <laughs> Just 50 measly experience points. I need like a thousand to get to the next level. Check out that trophy. Uh, 5% bonus experience from humans and non-humans. Yeah, so it looks like you put trophies on your saddle to receive bonuses. Cool! I get to carry around a trophy on my horse that reminds me of traumatic events. I'm so happy. Well, now that I actually know how to use my torch, I can see if I can do this. Damn it! You can't take out your torch when you're on Let's a horse. Go. But what if you take out your torch and then get on the horse? No! Aww, I wanted to go around with my torch on my horse. Alright, well, let's go get our reward and then end the episode. It's 
Excuse me. Coming through. <laughs> knock, knock, coming in. Job done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Well, that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, there's hope for it, at least. At this point, doubt I'll ever marry. You keep the coin from Mandy, her wedding. Raise a toast to my health then. Thank you, Master Witcher. Them's warm words, you've a good heart. But I can't let you go empty-handed. Take this, at least. If I keep eating this nice, I'm never going to have any money. I'm always going to be poor. Ah, oh, well. It's worth it for the warm feeling in my heart. Ah, <sighs> okay, well, now I feel prepared to probably go handle the beast of White Orchard, the griffin. But I am going to save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.